Hi there, welcome to the channel. This is Mike from Falco's Flips. I'm a reseller based in Northwest England. Please continue to watch and see what I've been up to. The footage you're about to see is a bit of a mix of car boot sale footage where I've been out and you know tried to source a bit of stuff and some charity shop stuff as well. Um, just a little bit, just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of the kind of thing I do. And I've stopped at a couple of points and explained, you know, the kind of stuff that I bought and what I paid for it, what I hope to get for it. If you like that kind of thing, then stick around. Okay, so we have a selection of ceramics and glassware here. A bit of a variety, which I've picked up over the last week or so. Um, and we'll start over here. Got a vision corning pan with the lid. Needs a little bit of a clean, but there's no chips or anything, no scuffs. So it should go for about £30 I'm getting for them plus postage at the moment they can go a little bit more sometimes a little bit less but 30 is about the average and um, package it really well and you should be fine I pay £2.50 for that here we have some Craven A which I believe is a tobacco brand uh, mugs now i would never heard of that but the shop worker told me, you know, that it was tobacco, which, you know, I just like them, to be honest. A bit odd. What's that asparagus all about? You know, what's this? Man of God. Blimp. Spaceman. Chimpanzee. Strange. But anyway, five of them. I got them for, um, how much were they? About 50p each, so £2.50. And then we've got the trusty cupcake cookie jar. Small cookie jar. And um, we've got some uh, Luminarc France, made in France. And I've got, got six in green. Now, I wouldn't bother picking these up in any colour other than green or orange. Well, last time I had them about 20 to 25 and I paid two pounds for them. And we've got um, biscuit, cookie jar. Um, it's uh, 
pretty decent condition. Now there's no brand on this, but personally I thought it was just quite nice and barely used. Doesn't say where it was made. I don't usually pick up cookie jars unless there's something a bit unique about them or they're like a vintage make or well-known brand. I have two ceramic Starbucks um, espresso mugs, I guess. Pound for the two. Barely used, if used at all. Um, so I really don't know. There's probably not much money in them, but they'll sell. They'll sell come the winter, I reckon, or Christmas. I'll put them on, maybe add something to it. Um, and they'll go like that. And anyway, the best thing here is probably this. The uh, seal on this needs replacing, which is fine because I've got a few spare seals. And, you know, it's in pretty good condition. Excellent, I'd say. There's a tiny little knot I've just noticed there, but that's fine. And it's by TG Green, made in England, and it's traditional Cornish ware. Now, as far as I'm aware, that they, they did make an older version of this. But, from the sold comps, it's this particular one that seems to sell the best, even though it's not as old as some of the other ones. Um, this one seems to go for at least... 30 and up to I've seen a couple go for about 40 45 and I paid three pounds so not bad at all uh, how much are you nerf guns how much is your weight? 20 for the weight. Uh, fiver. Uh, fiver for that one, say. Six quid for that one. Give me your own for a tenner. And here we have a few more bits that I got today. And um, we'll start over here. I've got two Nerf guns, um, already photoed, bagged up, ready to go, with some bullets in there. And they were 50p each. Came with the darts already. So they go for roughly 15 to 20 on them. So not bad at all. Plus postage. Uh, we've got this. Imagine X submarine. Uh, I only paid. I paid two pounds. I got this, and I also got a, th a few other little bits as well. Um, Octonauts, I think, which I didn't particularly want, but it was being sold as a bundle, so it's fine. So I've got about one pound fifty, I guess, into this, and they sell for uh, with a couple of figures. It'll go for at least fifteen, maybe twenty, thereabouts. Here we've got. Toy Story 3, um, Disney, Store, Disney Store exclusive, Mr. Potato Head, and um, it says it's got 20 pieces, but I've actually counted them, and there's more like 30, 35. That'll go okay. They don't go for, again, they don't go for great money, but it's still worth picking them up if you can get them cheap enough. Two, two pounds 50 for this, and it should go with the extra pieces and everything, and in good condition. Probably about 15 to 20. Um, 
Again, I've bagged this up. It's been photographed, ready to go. It's a Lego Duplo, and it also has uh, quite a few extra pieces as well. And um, so that was only two pounds from the car boot, and it should resell for at least twenty. We have this. This is from the Lion King musical. Um, we actually went to see this in Liverpool which is about an hour or so away from us and brilliant absolutely great that was a few years ago now um, this one so I got speaking to the lady a little bit and she said that they went to see them uh, to see it in Manchester a few years ago and um, we actually got the same bag when we went and the one we have is pretty well used uh, this one's in much better condition, although it's not perfect, so we might just keep that. Uh, I paid a pound, just one pound for it. Next we have this, which is a the Snowman Ravensburger 1,000-piece jigsaw. It's brand new in its box. And um, I paid up a bit on this. I, never, I don't think I've ever paid this much for a jigsaw before. It's six pounds. It was £6.99. But this at Christmas, I reckon we'll go for at least 30, maybe a little bit more, plus postage. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. This is just a little bit of a insight, just a little bit of the kind of things that I do. And I've got a lot more coming in. I've got a lot more footage, half edited, ready to kind of roll out over the next few weeks. So, I don't know, let me know the kind of stuff that you want to see. If you've got any questions, comment below and I'll try to get back to you. And if I can't get back to you, then I'm sure somebody else will in the comments. Um, and that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.